Hey everyone, it's me again, and I have a makeup tutorial for you guys today, featuring exclusively the Clinique Wear Everywhere Grays palette. Now you guys have already seen a review video for this palette. If you haven't and you want to know my thoughts, go ahead and click right there. <laughs> Don't worry if you missed it, I'll put it again at the end of the video. And no sweat because it opens up in another window so you can watch all the way through this video and then go watch and see what I think of the palette. So today, for this tutorial, I am giving you glam Marilyn Manson realness. It took a lot of work, honestly, to get my liner and lashes together, so by the time I was finished with that, I was feeling super, super angsty. So I went ahead with a black lip, used some of the mauve taupey gray tones in the palette to create this really wearable, um, kind of smoky, dusty, eye that can be wearable with or without a black lip, um, but I paired it with a black lip today, just because y'all know how I do. All right, if you want to learn how to get this glam eye look, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, all right, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. We're gonna ignore the liner on this side because I don't know if it translates on camera, but it looks really bad to me and it's driving me nuts. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've already primed, done my brows, you know the drill. And I'm going to start with this shade right here called High Tea that one. And we're going to take my Sonia Kashuk 109, you already know, and put it in the crease. We're kind of aiming for the upper crease area and blending down into the actual crease. So just kind of look forward in a mirror and make that happen. And right quick, once that's done, I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette, which is the light shade of Seashell Pink slash Fawn Satin Duo, that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this light, not white shade on the brow bone just to help kind of blend the crease color out. Just make sure there aren't any harsh lines, but we'll go back in and blend more later. Now I'm going to take an eyeshadow C brush. And I'm going to take this third color in from the palette, which is called Mushroom. Love this color, a nice shiny mauve taupe color. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. Go back in with my 109 and high T. And then just get that inside the crease a little more. Looks good. Now I'm going to take the other side of my eyeshadow C brush and I'm going to go into one of the darker colors in this palette called Grey Matters, this fourth one right there. And I'm just going to barely touch my brush into it, tap a little bit of the excess off on the back of my hand, and just get that into the outer corner, building up slightly. And this I'm going a little bit at a time and just tapping in again, and adding and tapping and adding just very very slowly because this color is deceptively dark and it can get a little bit too heavy if you're not careful and i'm going to take high tea a little bit on my c brush and kind of put it on the lid between those two colors just to assist the blend a tiny bit doesn't really need a whole lot of help you could actually skip that step if you wanted to I just noticed it needed a little help on the other side, so keep things symmetrical. We're mostly keeping this in the outer edge and working into the crease a little bit, but not too much with this brush because I'm going to go back in with my 109 and I'm going to blend that and kind of move the pigment into the crease. Just in soft circular motions, holding the end of the brush and if you notice that you're not being light enough or you're not blending out your product as well as you'd like to, choke down on your brush a little bit and it softens your hand. And the softer your hand is, the easier that pigment is just going to move out the way. I'm going to take a little bit more of high tea and just go around the edges above where I put that darker color just to help soften that. 
because we don't want any dark too terrible close to the brow bone because that can make my eyes look quite small. Don't want that. Now I'm going to tap in that darker color again on the 109 and just kind of swirl it in this very outer corner just to reestablish that depth. And then I'm going to go back in with our brow bone light color from the duo whatever and we're going to touch up the brow bone just to finish blending everything out. Bam! Upper shadow is done. Now we're going to move down to the lower shadow. So first I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Perversion pencil liner and I'm going to put this in my lower waterline. Going pretty far around. In fact, we're going to go ahead and go all the way in. So rim the entire lower waterline and then just on the outside edge we're going to put just wiggle that liner in between the lashes and very quickly do this one eye at a time before your liner sets go in with your Real Techniques detail brush and your darkest shade that we used on the upper lash line and smudge that outer lash line we're just going to take this most of the way in, maybe a little less than half, and then we're going to take a uh, mushroom again on that same detailer brush, and we're going to put that right next door. I love the way this mushroom color and this gray matters color blend together. It's gorgeous. And then on the very inside corner, we're going to take this sugarcane shade, which is right there, and I'm just going to take a tiny tiny bit of this because it is white and it is full of glitter and we're gonna just pat that on the inner corner to highlight sweeping down into the lower lash line a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the lid with my C brush and mushroom go back in and just pat it where I missed spots reestablish that lid Moving back and forth between the lid and outer corner colors. There we go. There you go. And your eyeshadow is done. Now from here, you could just throw on a straight, flat black liner, uh, you know, tight line the upper lashes a little bit, some mascara, and you're good to go. I decided to do a wing. I don't know why. Why do I ever decide to do wings? Why? Why do I torture myself like this? You guys definitely don't need to see me fumbling around with my winged liner, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and do my lashes and stuff and the rest of my face off camera, and I will be right back. Hey everyone, I am back with the finished look. Talk about what I used on the face to pair with this lovely makeup look. Now you could have gone a little bit softer than I did. You could have foregone lashes just on a simple liner and it would have been a lot more wearable, but I felt like going crazy today for some reason. So I opted to pull out a foundation that I actually haven't used in a really long time, which is Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. I forgot how much I like this stuff. Um, my pores are doing something really weird today, but that has nothing to do with this foundation. It is amazing, gives such good coverage, very lightweight, um, and yeah, it's very, very smooth and even, and I love the coverage this gives. It's just yellow enough for my skin tone. I'm using the shade 1WN2 today. I opted for like a gothy kind of look, almost a wearable goth look. I mean, if you paired the eye with a different lip, it would be a lot more wearable. But um, I opted for no blush today, just contour with NYX blush in taupe, uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, just to bronze up the skin a little bit, make it look a little more alive, and definitely lots of dewy highlighted glow going on. My glow is of course the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in Pearl Mwah. Love this thing. Put that all over the freaking place. And for my jet black lip today, 
I used the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in black. Uh, I, I see a lot of people on YouTube using uh, eyeliner to line their lips for wearing a black lip, and that works too, but these are a lot easier because they're actually formulated for use on the lips. They're a lot smoother, just easier to work with, and I happen to love this one. It's one of my favorite black lip liners and one of the only black lip liners I've run into. Um, OCC's Cosmetic Color Pencil in Tarde also works very well. And of course, for the lipstick itself, I used my baby. Um, the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Weirdo. Uh, you guys didn't see this in my review of Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks because I ended up getting it later. Um, because I tried his liquid lipsticks, I'll put the review right there, and I loved them so much. I had to get Weirdo. It is the perfect, perfect inky jet black, super matte, super black, Ugh. and I love how it sets off this look and really turns it into something dark and edgy and you know, just my style. But you guys can totally pair this with a nude lip too if you want. You can soften it as much as you like. Uh, I just felt like kind of going a little bit crazy today. So uh, that's the finished look. Let's do a little awkward posing. Awkward posing. Looking down. Looking forward looking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot today. And this palette, this little eyeshadow palette is so fun to play with. I'm looking forward to really seeing what else I can do with it. If you enjoyed this look and you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a member of the faithful today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!